came into our land, killed our kind. Now we explore your land, learn about your people. You will see many of us. You will know us. You will fear us. Hey Walking Dead fans, this is going to be a video on the Whispers, the next villains coming up in Season 9. We've already got a hint of them. I'm making this video in between Season 9, Episode 6, and Season 9, Episode 7. That's where I'm at, kind of in the info of this video. I'm going to explain the comics a little bit, the Whispers, how they were introduced, kind of who they interacted with, what happened to start what was eventually being called the Whisper War. And that's looking like it's playing out or about to play out uh, in uh, Season 9, and especially in the back half of Season 9. And spoiler alert if you're not caught up with The Walking Dead to Season 9. But what's very interesting, though, now that we're at this point, we've lost several characters that played a big role in the whole Whisper arc in the comics, uh, especially the main one being Carl. Carl was essential in the comics for that whole arc, but as we've seen in the show, there was the young Henry, now he's grown up to closer to what Carl's age should be, 16, 17 years old, and he's perfect. They're, I'm sure, going to use him for those parts. And Henry, as we know, has played out to be, end up being, uh, it's Carol and Ezekiel who ended up married or they're in a partnership. He is their adopted son. So instead of Rick's son, Carl, being a central character in this Whisper arc, it looks like it's going to be Henry. We've also lost Rick, of course, and Maggie, both of who played a big role in doing things in the Whisper arc. But we don't know if they're going to do it exactly, and I'm sure they won't, like the comics. We'll just have to see which roles they assign to other characters that had maybe been performed by Rick, uh, Maggie, or Carl. And we'll just have to see what they change all, all together. So who are the Whispers? They've been called mysterious. They've been called primitive. I would call them kind of on the... I would call them like a cult and a crazy cult at that. But using the theory that Walker blood or part, body parts of a walker spread all over you will mask your smell, will mask you and let you walk among the dead. Uh, you know, Glenn has done it. Rick has done it. They've done it in several different ways. Negan and Father Gabriel did it. And, of course, the blood of those walkers had been around that radioactive material. And that's uh, what is thought to have made uh, Father Gabriel go blind in the one eye. But what the Whispers have done, they actually will skin a walker and make masks, you could say, and skin to go over themselves. And they're doing the same thing. They're pulling a Glenn, kind of, or a Nick. Nick did it in Fear the Walking Dead. He'd put blood on him and walk among the walkers. Well, they put this, these skin masks and skins that they take off of the walkers and they prepare them and they wear them around and they can walk amongst the walkers. They'll walk among a herd, they'll steer a herd, and they don't kill the dead, they walk among them. They were first introduced in the comics in issue 130. And if you're wondering about the episode 9-6, we heard the whispers say, where are they, don't let them get away, and uh, Eugene and Rosita kind of was freaking out. And, you know, they're thinking they're evolving uh, because they don't know. But then a scouting party is going to be sent out uh, to, to watch them and, and see what's, what it's all about. And I think we'll be introduced pretty quick coming back. It might be the cliffhanger of episode 8 of season 9 going into mid-season. The mid-season finale where, where they actually see the whispers, uh, the group. They find them out. Or it could be after they meet Lydia. So here's what happens. So as these whispers learn to wear these skins, they did it first as a means for survival, like Rick has done it, Glenn has done it, Nick from Fear the Walking Dead has done it, you know, as a means for survival. But it became more of a philosophy, a religion, a cult kind of thing. They think humankind are animals, and the zombies are the true form that nature intended us to be, and they're getting clo as close to that as they can. So they don't really like other humans, they don't really like bringing people into their group, new people. And they kind of they, they kind of have this primitive, nomad-type society. And given that, and given that they think they're kind of like animals, they, they live like that, that and like a pack mentality, they have an alpha. That leader is alpha. And there's a second-in-command, beta. But this is kind of how it plays out in the comics. So there's a couple of new characters after the new beginning starts in the comics. It's Marco and Ken. They belong to Hilltop. And we see the Whispers following them. And supposedly 
the good guys went into the Whispers territory and they saw them and then they started tracking them back to where they live and they started watching Hilltop and, and kind of trying to learn about the people. But Marco tells, says, hey, you know, I've been hearing the walkers whispering. And of course, everybody thinks he's crazy for thinking so. But then Ken comes up missing. Then a search party sent out and Dante's in that group, another character in the comics, and he gets taken hostage. The other people with him are killed. So then another search party, which includes Jesus, goes out searching for the missing guys. But the whispers attack them as well. Most of that group is killed as well. And Jesus, with his garrote and all of that stuff, ends up kicking everybody's ass and killing all the whispers except one. So Paul takes this captured whisperer back to Hilltop. And like I say, this may be the moment of the cliffhanger, or it could be when they see the Whisperer camp, but the captive that Jesus has, he takes the skin mask off, and it's a 16-year-old girl, Lydia. Lydia ends up being Alpha's daughter. So what happens is Alpha comes with some Whisperers to Hilltop and says, Hey, we have Ken and we have Dante. We'll trade you for my daughter, Lydia. You have her give her back, we'll give you your two guys, call it even. And this is where it'll probably start diverting. Lydia's put into a jail cell, so Carl had been in a skirmish, a little bully fight, and he gets put in the cell beside Lydia about the same time that she's in there, right? So they get to talking and form this kind of relationship, actually. So we're guessing at this point, that's gonna be Henry, and it may not be in a jail cell beside each other, I don't know how that's going to play out, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably be Henry that gets into that relationship, semi-relationship with Lydia. But when Alpha comes with a group of whisperers to Hilltop and talks to Maggie, and of course Maggie's not there, so I guess I don't know who that may be. I don't know if Jesus has taken over Hilltop and if that's who's going to make the decisions. I'm not sure yet. It hasn't shown Hilltop up to this point after the six-year time jump. Maggie agrees to make the trade, Dante and Ken, for Lydia, the one captured by Jesus. But then, after she takes her away and everybody departs, Carl Grimes starts following them. So as Carl is following them, he gets caught, of course, and they take him back to their camp where they're hanging out. Alpha takes her mask off, tries to talk to Carl. Carl sees uh, uh, the whispers making Lydia a new suit, skin suit. And Alpha really wanted Carl to kind of see how they lived and go back and tell his people and maybe they would be left alone. But Alpha's interested now that she's talked to Carl and she kind of wants to know more about his people. But like I say, I won't go into every little detail, but Alpha goes and disguises herself as a citizen. And, you know, they've been talking about the fair, getting ready for the fair. Uh, Ezekiel and Carol talked about it. Ezekiel mainly uh, preparing this fair for the communities. And Alpha goes and kind of blends in with the people and checks them out and sees kind of what's going on. But during that time, Rick and a few others have went toward the Whisperer camp to try to find Carl. The Whisperers find them, take just Rick to the camp, and this is where he confronts Carl, who says he's not leaving without Lydia. Short time later, Alpha arrives. She's got this bloody machete, and uh, Rick says, that better not be any of my people, and um, they go for a walk, and Alpha shows Rick thousands and thousands of walkers in this herd, and she says, I will march them uh, towards your communities and tear down every single thing that you have built, and that is not an empty threat. So when they get back to the camp, Lydia actually wants to leave with Carl. She's, she's actually been raped by other members of the Whisperers, and uh, Alpha just kind of turned a blind eye to that. So it's definitely not just a, a small thing that she says, hey, I'm not safe here. I would rather go live with you, Carl. There's some commotion, but she says, you know, take her. She's not worthy of being a Whisperer anymore. Just take her with you. So Lydia ends up going back with Carl. But definitely spoiler alert again, if you don't want to know, if this hap I know it should happen in the show. We just don't know with that actually which characters it will happen. What uh, Alpha had done, you know, with that bloody machete, she had actually killed several members of each community, cut their heads off, you know, and not killed them so they're like zombie heads, and put them on some pikes and marked the borders. And she said, that's our territory. Once you get past that, 
don't come back. So there's one thing, you know, we haven't seen Dwight in a while, and there's this, um, you know, he was actually still in the comics. He was the one that was leading the sanctuary where, you know, Daryl was there uh, in the show. So he was already in the comics, but this could be a pretty cool returning point for Dwight if it happens. And spoiler alert again, as far as the comics go, and we know it's going to happen in the show, so I don't think it's a big, uh, oh my god, you've, you've spoiled the show for me. Negan does get out of the jail cell, and he interacts with the Whispers. And you could say you think he's kind of almost joining them for a moment. But in the comic, Aaron and Michonne are the ones that go looking for him, because he broke out of the jail cell, and they're out looking for him. They get attacked by Beta, and some whispers. Aaron gets hurt. Um, they're about to get killed, but Dwight uh, saves them. So it would be a cool thing that something like that happened in the show, and suddenly out of nowhere, the person that saves them is Dwight. I kind of doubt that'll happen, but it would be cool if it did. Negan does end up staying at the camp with him for a little while, but he ends up killing Alpha, decapitating her, actually. And of course, Negan takes the head back to Rick, and is actually recruited into the militia they're forming to fight the Whispers. Of course, Beta finds the body of Alpha and declares war against the communities, and of course the communities know war is coming or they're going to have to fight the Whispers, these people. And I won't go every detail in the actual Whisper War, it may change a lot, but Father Gabriel's another one that dies in the battle. There is a big fight kind of in an open field against the whispers and the walkers that they bring and the militia. Both sides take heavy losses and are hurt pretty bad. The whispers kind of retreat and regroup and the militia does the same thing. But then Beta splits up the groups. One attacks Hilltop and one attacks Alexandria. And in that story there, uh, Dwight plays another big part. He actually kind of disguises himself as whispers him and some of his guys and they infiltrate one of the groups killing them all and the whispers they use knives and bow and arrows uh, guns just a couple times i think but they actually light some arrows and pretty much burn hilltop to the ground some of those whispers escape and then beta and the other whispers that attack alexandria they just send a herd and just boom kind of knock alexandria down pretty much but then the whispers kind of disappear. Our group is uh, kind of trying to decide what they're going to do. Do we search for them? Do we not? And it was, you know, weeks, I guess, later. Aaron and Jesus are traveling and Beta in amongst some walkers in a little group, a little herd. They attack Jesus and Aaron. Beta almost kills Jesus, but Aaron ends up shooting him. And then it's just Aaron and Jesus who sneak into the Whisperer camp and kill the rest of the Whispers. And that's the Whisper arc, the Whisper war in a nutshell, as it happened in the comics. So which characters are going to pick up the parts of the missing characters? How are they going to change what happened or how the story goes? Um, I think it'll be pretty close to it. We just don't, and some of the characters changing, of course, but hopefully it'll be pretty close to that. Not sure what else they could throw in there. Not sure who the major deaths are going to be. I am betting a little bit on Father Gabriel, and I think Rosita will end up with Eugene, but it could be Rosita. It could be Ezekiel. It could be Jesus. They could really take it in a different direction and throw different people on the pikes. But as we've seen in episode 9-6, catching up, currently, we saw the walkers talking, of course. But back up where Eugene was on the tower, he looked down, he saw the herd. Remember when they were coming to the tower? They saw a patch of road that was just all torn up, and the woods and trees were kind of torn down. And So they get to the tower, and up on the tower, Eugene sees the herd turn and come toward them directly. Eugene says, the herd must have flipped a hardcore U. Herd must have flipped a hardcore U on the DL. And he knows, of course, walkers in a group don't usually act like that. So, of course, that is the whispers, the people that are wearing walker skins in that herd that is redirecting the herd back toward Rosita and Eugene. Then, of course, we see the herd tracking them. Uh, they're, the herd's moving down the road. They cover themselves with mud. They hear them talking. And that's what's going to lead into episode 9-7 with the talk of 
hey, I think the walkers are evolving. They're talking now. But of course, they don't know yet that it's really people in walker skins. So I'm excited to see how it all plays out starting this coming Sunday, episode 9-7. Just two more episodes before the mid-season. Um, let me know your thoughts on the whispers. Let me know how close you think the show will be to the comics. Who will take up the other person's role of the missing characters. And what maybe scene do you think will be the cliffhanger in episode 9-8, um, you know, the mid-season finale? What do you think they're going to stop at? What major scene introducing the whispers or Lydia... What do you think it'll be? But that's it for this video. Check out the other videos on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.